G loves trains here and G does love trains but G is also quite partial to a tram welcome to a brand new series traversing the Manchester Metrolink where it's going to be my aim to go to every single Manchester Metrolink tram stop and we're kicking things off with zone one <laughs> With a total of 10 stops, Zone 1 comprises of the brown, pink, dark blue, green, purple, light blue, orange and yellow lines. And we're starting here at Victoria and funnily enough I've never actually gotten a tram from Victoria before and I think it's about time I did so. So Victoria tram stop is obviously part of Manchester Victoria train station so you can go and get your train connections here and also there's a nice link through to the Manchester Arena. Do you know what? I've only just realised that tram stop platforms are labelled with letters and not numbers. Victoria, four platforms. So these two platforms here, because it's a single track, I'm thinking this tram here, would it have its doors opened either side for ease? First tram, 3.050 We're at Shude Hill, around here you'll find the print works and looks like there's some sort of bus stationy thing there as well Shude Hill, two platforms Getting on 30.08 Thanks, Trump. Market Street, two platforms. This is near the Arndale Centre. The food entrancey bit. And my favourite clothes shop slash knicker shop. Primark, of course. It's also near that filthy brothel. Just got off 3026 and we're now at Piccadilly Gardens and around here you'll find some sort of a garden. You know what, this water fountain looks really pretty when it's all lit up in the dark. In the day it's switched off and looks very wet. <laughs> This tram stop is actually the one I've been to the most because when I used to get the trams I would never know where in Piccadilly station the tram stop was so I'd always walk to Pick Gardens. <laughs> when you're at Piccadilly Gardens you put your knickers on your head, you put your knickers on your head, you put your knickers on your head. When you're at Piccadilly Gardens you put your knickers on your head and you shout Squishy boobies! It's two platforms. Oh look, all the filthy brothel down there. We're on 30.03. Piccadilly is two platforms and up these escalators it'll take you to Manchester Piccadilly train station where you can get your train connections New Islington, two platforms and it runs right next to the Ashton Canal. Just got off 3094 and St. Peter's Square, four platforms. St. Peter's 
Square then there's this very grand looking central library, the Town Hall, Chinatown and the Gay Village and no that's not where I live. <laughs> Getting on 3036. Okay, so Deansgate Castlefield. If you walk across here, the weather's not very bad, but if you walk across there, it will take you to Deansgate train station for your train connections. And also around here, there is the Rochdale Canal and the Bridgewater Viaducts. I've counted and there are three platforms at Deansgate Castlefield. Also, on the information screens at the tram stops, it doesn't tell you where the services are calling at, so you always have to check on the map. Getting on, 30.59. We're at Cornbrook, or as my grand would call it, Cornbrook of course. It's two platforms and Cornbrook is actually on the border of Zone 1 and Zone 2. Round here there's the Bridgewater Canal and further beyond that the Manchester Ship Canal, although you can't really see either of them. I think the Bridgewater one must go like right here underneath the tracks over there. Well, 30.97. Exchange Square, it's two platforms and it's situated right outside the main entrance to the Arndale Centre. So that's it then, a very fast paced day riding the trams, it's lovely that the services are so frequent on the trams isn't it? So I've been to all the tram stops in zone 1. Victoria. Shoedale, Market Street, Piccadilly Gardens, Piccadilly, New Islington, St. Peter's Square, DJ Kettlefield, Cornbrook. Thank you very much for watching everyone, see you soon! <laughs>